short reloading videos. In this video, I'm hoping to show you how to just bump the shoulder, as we call it, uh, on a 223 case in a RCBS full length die set in 223 Remington. It is not the uh, small base set. Um, this is an unsized case. You can see the bullet just falls right in. Okay. Uh, those two as well. So this will be one, two, three. Number one has some lube on it. So what is bumping the shoulder? Well, when you go by the directions and you full length size this and you over cam like this, um, you set that die up exactly how it's supposed to be. What you're doing is you're going to size the case down within the SAMI spec for that case. And the maximum size of the case is smaller than the minimum size of the chamber as far as the spec goes. Okay, so theoretically, if everything's in spec, you'll never have a case that fails to chamber. Well, some people look at that and say, well, my chamber probably isn't a minimum chamber. And they view doing this full length, full, full stroke uh, resizing as overworking their, uh, their case. Okay, so uh, you can get gauges to help you determine, set up how much bump you're putting on here. Um, for semi-autos, I think they gener people generally recommend a four thousandths bump, and for bolt, uh, for bolt action, you can get away with less. Um, I guess unless maybe you're doing like dangerous game hunting, in which case I would definitely not mess around with this too much. But I wanted to show you kind of a poor man's method of measuring this. In the 223, it's a little more difficult than in some other cartridges, and I may touch on that at the very end. But here's what I'm gonna do. I've got this 243 Winchester case length gauge. It's an L.E. Wilson. L.E. Wow, oh, this one's Lyman. A lot of mine are L.E. Wilson, um, but this one happens to be Lyman. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, this is a, you know, what is this in size? This hole down here is about 282. So somewhere on this shoulder, I'm gonna make contact with this Lyman case gauge, okay? And I don't know exactly where, but here's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I'm going to measure in inches from the very top of that case length gauge or from the minimum, from I'm in the minimum groove of the case length gauge to the base of the cartridge. And I'm gonna tighten it up so that I can get a good reading. All right, so this is kind of a poor man's version, but you know, you can kind of guarantee this stuff's kind of straight. Three, five, let's get this good. Three, five, six, three. Three, five, six, three. Three, five, six, three. Three point five, six, three, so inches. So let's do a full length resize. I wanna completely resize this to the directions. All right. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna do this all again with this, um, I wanna get the, you know, with this same set up here. All right. So I can already see that this, this is too big. So let's go on here. Come on. Let's get on here. I'm sure this is making for great television, guys. But So I'm getting 3550. 3550. 3.550, 3 which gives me a delta <clears throat> of... 13 thousandths at this diameter. I'm also going to do this with the 223 case. This is actually the 223 case gauge. And I'm getting 3295. I can't do this before because the cartridges won't fit in it. One, two, three, 
3.294. So this is more of a just a second data point kind of for after as we mess with these cases and see what we're actually doing to the shoulder. So case number one has been resized. So we're done with that. I'm gonna break loose the, the die, back it up. And what I wanna do first is just see what happens if I just come down and just, almost like a carbide die, just come down until I hit the, the shell holder, right? So there, right there. Let's just see what that does to the next case. Now these numbers are gonna be different because the cases are different. But the goal here, so case number two is gonna be just to the shell holder. Um, we're gonna have to measure it. <clears throat> the goal is to see the delta differences between these, not necessarily the number to number differences. So let's get back in the minimum groove and then go ahead and do this one. Okay, three, five, five, six, five. 3.5565. So that would be 330. Now let's just measure this guy after we size it. You're going to get a lot, I think you're going to get a lot less sizing out of this. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. 3.5535. Five, 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 three, five. Three, five, five, three, five. All right, that only comes out to, wait, that ain't right. Oh, yes, it is. Three, five, five, three, five. That only comes out to three thousandths of a bump, okay, at, at that part of the shoulder, okay? So let's look at this here now, and let's see if this even matters. This may not even matter. Um, three, two, nine, nine, three, two, nine, nine. So that weirdly is bigger <laughs> at that part of the, the case, but you can see that changing this die, or hopefully you can see that moving this die up just to kissing the Ram basically reduced the Delta from 13 thousandths to three thousandths. All right, so let's see if we can dial this in. That's almost, I don't know how I'm gonna do a thousandth more, right? But you can see the, the drastic reduction. Let's, let's do another one at exactly this spot to kind of check, because the sample size is admittedly tiny here. But this is the, um, this is kind of what you do, right? The trick here is to kind of make it do the what you want twice in a row. Three, five, five, five. So four fives. Three, and then four fives. Three point five, 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 five. So this will be the smallest case yet before resizing. And now I didn't move this. I, I was tempted to, but I didn't. <clears throat> Let's see what we end up with now. On the minimum, slide in there. And again, this isn't very much resizing. Look at that. Three, five, five. Come on now. Let's just get it snug where I want it. Three, five, five, zero, five. Three, five, five, zero, five. Which is four thousandths of resizing. All right, just for, just cause this is actually turning out pretty good. I'm gonna grab another one. Here's another one um, that's unsized, okay? It, it goes right in there. I'm gonna set this one up with some less overcam, all right? I kinda know how much I had on it originally. Now I'm gonna do some, some less. And I don't want this video to be super duper too long. So here we go. Set it up. And this is quite a bit less than original. We're going to have to measure this guy. And I didn't measure with this on the other one, but I don't think it's really, it doesn't really matter because I don't have a before and an after. 
So for, for time's sake, just forget that. It's kind of, okay, three, five, five, one. Well, let's resize this fully from three, five, five, one. And these will, these would be a little bit different depending on your chamber, depending on how hot the chamber was when you shot them. You know, when you're dealing in thousands, things happen. So this has been resized a little less. So the thought is the delta should be between 13 and 4. So four, between 4 thousandths and 13 thousandths. Ideally, you'd, you'd have a, a delta between those two. All right, come on. Line up. Three, five, four, four, five. All right, three point five, four, four, five. So three, five, five, one, zero, five, four, four, five. So that's going to be one, four, <clears throat> ten, ten, six, five. Ha! <laughs> six point five thousandths, guys. So. I can't really reliably measure six and a half thousandths, but it's, it is a larger number. All right, and I'll show you the board here. This, you don't need to see these 223 numbers. Okay. So this is my 243 uh, case gauge. This is my before size number, and this is my after size number. And then my delta here is, you can see 13 for the first case. We heavily over, over cammed that. Then we just did the two here. And then we've got, and this really is my sig fig guys. So it's not, I don't have a micrometer or a really great setup. This is kind of a, a rinky dink setup to do this. They make devices, uh, gauges and things that actually do this for you. But my thought was, well, this, this down here, this hole is bigger than a 22 hole, but it's not so big the whole cartridge will fall through. Because if you really want to be cheap, you could use, like on a 30-06 or a 308, you could just throw a 9mm on top of it. And uh, you'd touch the shoulder at a certain point, right? So you could do this with cases, but I was worried, well, the case might flex and I might mess this up. Well, I don't think these steel uh, bodies are going to. But you can see here, my overcammed 113, my two that I didn't do very much, I just came up to the bottom, was three and four. And then I went down a little bit and I got to six and a half. Okay, so this is what bumping the shoulder means. And how much do you need to is kind of up to your gun. A lot of guys say they like to bump four for an auto loader. And uh, t like two for um, a bolt action. This is in this, so you might want to do this with a bolt action gun. <sighs> Set it up for two or three thousandths. And so what I would suggest is maybe your dies are similar to mine. Just come up and just flatten out against the bottom, no overcam, and and measure that, and then see what your bolt action rifle thinks about it. You know, don't do this and then put the mag. If you're doing this in an auto loader, don't do this with an auto loader. Throw the, all the ammo in a mag and then expect to just run it flawlessly during a boogaloo or something, okay? <laughs> Make sure your gun will, will accept it. And when you're doing these bumps, uh, you're not setting it back to like factory condition, the case. You're not setting it back to factory. So don't assume you can just interchange shoulder bumped ammo between guns you're kind of doing something for that gun all right see if your gun can handle it now with a full length die you're still going to be resizing the body down in here all right so even though you're not bumping the shoulder back very far even you know you're you're resizing this body here and your case may grow in length so check your length just do everything normal but this is kind of what people talk about when you see it on forums. Uh, guys go, oh, just bump four thou. You know, what, what does that mean? Well, this is what it means. Okay, so I hope this helped. Long video again. Darn it. Um, I hope this video turns out good. Um, I hope it helps you. All right.